So over here we are, or I am, uh, making a hay feeder for when the goats are out and, you know, grazing. Uh, since it is winter and, you know, the ground is pretty short right now, they, do, they don't have much to pick at. Over here we do have all of our round bales. And if you look at this one, they are starting to eat the center out. So we don't want them to do that. And uh, this is the first year having them over winter. So we rolled out a bale, realized they don't really like having their hay on the ground. So I'm going to make a little hay feeder uh, so that they waste less and are more wanting to, to use it. All right, so this is our original hay feeder. Um, its dimensions are two foot by four foot, and we're about four foot tall. Um, so some of the things that we liked and didn't like with this version is the height of it. I love that, you know, it's not quite on the ground. Um, what I like about it is that you've got this little catch in here so that you're not losing a bunch of your hay. Um, our goats are notorious for once their hay touches the ground, they don't want it, even though they eat the ground. So they're not the smartest creatures in the world. Um, and then we also have these uh, bars right here at 45 degrees so that they can easily reach up and pull. One mistake we made was not putting long enough screws and our, uh, one of our boys popped it out and likes to jump in there. Another thing that we changed with our new model is we added uh, slats to the inside so that the top doesn't slide off. Uh, there have been many a times where if it's really windy, this will just blow off and you know the hay gets wet on the inside. Um, this is also uh, only open on one side, which is a good thing and a bad thing. Uh, the benefits of it is you don't get as much water on your hay if it's raining. The back and both of the short sides are covered. Uh, so it helps to protect it that way. But if you have some goats that are kind of pushy, um, they will monopolize the whole space. Whereas with our new version, uh, you can get access to the hay from all four sides. Kind of give the other goats and sheep a chance to, to get some hay without uh, getting bullied away from it. Um, I do like the convenient size of it though. It's a good... Um, it's small enough that if you just have a few goats or a few sheep, it's perfect. Um, and it's very lightweight, easy to move around. Um, however, if it's not against something, it could get knocked over easy. Our cows like to sneak in here. And uh, there have been many a times where they have tipped it over in search of more hay. Um, so not, not the most sturdiest of standing, but definitely sturdy in uh, how much hay it can hold. I believe we get one and a half uh, of your standard square bells in here. Um, whereas the other one that I just did should hold ooh, probably six square bells, but pro probably more, maybe. I haven't tested it out yet. Hmm, yeah, finished it today. So we'll have to see just how much that holds. You told them how much it costs to build that one? No. Uh, so this one was made completely out of scraps that my sister was able to collect from you know different marketplace listings for free. Um, so we've got the expense of the screws and our, our very precious time in the cold that it took to build this. Um, but otherwise, we were able to make this with all scraps, kind of piece it together, Frankenstein it, work with what we have. Uh, and it went by pretty fast. It's a, it's a super easy build, something that if you haven't really made something before, uh, I would suggest you can kind of learn with this one. Or the other one is really easy. Just, just saying, that one's a lot easy too. We'll start again. So this is the hay feeder that I had started building the other week. I finally got some plywood to complete the lid and the bottom. So this is eight feet wide. Uh, 
eight feet, sorry, eight feet long, two feet wide. As you can see, plenty of room for the goats and sheep to get their head in, even if they have horns. Um, it's about seven inches between slats. Uh, I found that works best. And the top, just a piece of plywood with some two by four so that in the wind, or if you have a goat that likes to jump, they're not gonna knock it off. Um, so it's very easy to just pop the top off, throw some hay in, and uh, let them get busy. She thinks there's treats in there right now. It's really just wood, but yeah. And I think everything out of this is made from reclaimed wood minus the top and bottom because we didn't have enough half inch ply. And that's it. The height of it, I love that, you know, it's not quite on the ground, so you all, you, uh, don't have the problem with losing a bunch of, that's not the right word. <laughs> Can't feel <my> cheeks. <laughs> okay, so this is the Called it. Batman's always the one that hops into the hay feeder. mom <laughs> uh, this is the hay feeder that i started building the other week i finally got enough i i don't know who to look at you do her okay. i'm just gonna get you from the side okay 